Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and what we're looking at here is Google Android running on a Dell 21-inch monitor. Could also uh, be running on a TV or anything else, because what we've got plugged in to control it is the MK802 Model 3, which is a tiny computer with a rock chip dual core processor, uh, USB drive, HDMI, and the ability to uh, handle 720 and 1080p output. Now the reason we're looking at this today is there's a new version of the software available which lets you use your phone or tablet to remote control the MK802 Model 3 or Model 2. The Model 2 has a different processor. So basically all you have to do is, as long as you're running the right firmware on your mini PC, you fire up the application on your mobile device and then you can use it as sort of a pointer controller. We can bring up a keyboard to enter text or we can even use it as if we were using a touchscreen on the computer itself, or on the uh, MK802. There's also a control ver uh, application here that sort of looks like your typical media remote control kind of thing, but it's got home button, back button, menu button, and so forth. Zoom buttons, volume buttons, and even a power button which lets you turn off the display. Turn the display back on, or you can press and hold it to bring up this uh, power menu. So this is something that's sort of missing from a lot of the Android mini PCs that we've seen so far, is the ability to actually turn it off using a software setting. So it's nice to have that. Unfortunately, in order to turn it back on, you have to unplug the power source and plug it back in, but still that's, uh, that's a nice feature to have. Now from here, we can also Let's say, open up a list of apps, and we can scroll from this menu, and we can scroll up and down or left and right. Let's go back, open the web browser, and you can see that we can scroll up and down, or we can switch to touchpad mode here and zoom in and out. So it's a pretty powerful little controller and it's a it's a neat way to control an Android device. Um, the one problem I'm having right now really is I think more of a hardware issue than a software issue. Um, for the most part the RK3066 processor can handle HD video playback, it can handle all sorts of different apps and games, um, but I'm having a poor wireless signal so it keeps sort of disconnecting from the network when I'm using it and that causes problems. It makes it difficult to to detect the device because basically it needs to be on the same wireless network as your remote control application. So from time to time I'm losing the connection which would be inconvenient if you were using your phone as your only controller. I've also got a wireless mouse plugged in which helps. Um, but more importantly when I wanted to try and stream video over my network or do other things um, I had a hard time doing that because I'm in the third floor office and my router is all the way down on the first floor and while I don't have any problems uh, getting my wireless signal on my laptop, desktop, or my phone in the third floor office it's, uh, it seems that the MK802 uh, Model 3 doesn't have a real strong wireless antenna, so it's, it's having a hard time picking that up. If you put it closer to your wireless signal, you can probably do a better job of surfing the web, watching videos, doing all sorts of different things. Um, if you um, have local media stored on a SD card or something like that, it really shouldn't be a problem, and it's nice to be able to uh, use your phone as a remote control, although again, it might be a good idea to have another remote control handy in case you lose your connection. Um, so far, I mean, a lot of these mini PCs that I've seen do have sort of wireless signal problems. Uh, possibly the best one I've seen so far is the, the Minix Neo G4 in terms of staying connected to the internet when it's supposed to. Uh, this model also has a similar processor, the same RK3066 processor as the uh, MK802 Model 3. Um, but it doesn't have this this remote control software. We've seen remote control software similar to this before in third-party applications like Droid Mote, but it's kind of nice to see that Ryko Magic, uh, one of the manufacturers of these mini PCs, is releasing it for it, uh, releasing the software officially so that you can use it with the MK802 Model 3 or Model uh, 2. So again, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing and a quick look at the MK802 Model 3 running the latest firmware which lets you use your phone or tablet as a remote control.